Hello YouTube, so um, today I'm going to be, well today I was looking at my YouTube and I was like, hmm, I better start making some MIDI files because I haven't done one in so long. So, um, um, I'm going to come up with a video just saying that they are coming. I'm, I've seen light and now I'm going to make some MIDI files. I'll probably come up with one every few or so days because you're about to see how long it takes. So, first off you're going to need uh, four uh, you need four things. So you're going to need Finale 2011 or Final Notepad 2011, however you want to call it. If you want to pirate day this, it's called Final 2011. If you type in Notepad, it does it comes up with 2003 only, so it has to be Final or Finale 2011. And that's the program you're using to make these. Next, you're going to need a program called Synthesia, which is what you're going to, which is what is going to show you what you made. And then um, you can film it and record it, which is the four third thing you need. Uh, you're going to need a program to film your desktop. I'm using UCAM over right here. Or um, you can, a really good one is Fraps, which is used to download, I mean, to film computer games. And I'll have that in the, I'll have all these in the description. And then um, you're going to need your sheet music. Obviously, I'm doing Made of Parade three cheers for five years upon request. And third, and uh, well, fifthly, you're going to want to make your own folder called MIDI so that this program, since this uh, is able to pick up your MIDI files. So let's get started. So first we're going to make Finale Notepad. So this is my Finale Notepad, but this is obviously not what yours is going to look like, so I'm just going to save this real quick. Okay, now. All right, so you're gonna to want to open your fin finale program. Mine's a um, just a uh, trial right now, which is still good for 30 days. So I'm just waiting. So once this is what's gonna look like, and I have notes here and a whole bunch of stuff you are not able to access yet. You're gonna click on File. You're gonna click on New Document with Setup Wizard. If you have a previous one or the newest one, it's obviously not gonna look like that. I'm just giving you the basic thing. So you're going to want to click on create new ensemble, you're going to want to click on landscape, and land unless you want portrait view, it does not matter. Next, you want to add your um, the instrument you want to use. This is also used to create sheet music for, um, what do you call it, uh, well basically all of this. Drums, you can add drums, you can add brass, strings, whatever you want. But we're going to use piano, we're going to add. And then you don't need to worry about anything else, click next. This is where you add all of your information. Uh, don't worry about the subtitle. Composer, media, parade. Always do that. And then you don't really worry if you want, you can do it, doesn't matter. This is what, and then now you're going to open your uh, sheet music. Excuse me. You're going to look at your time signature, which is mine is in 4 4 time, which is automatically in 4 4 time. You have five sharps, so you want to make sure you have five sharps. One, two, three, four, five. This is very important. No song is 31 measures long, which is a bar of four beats. And I want to delete that and put in like a thousand because it's going to suck if you get like to 30 and then you can't do anything else. So that's very important. Um, you're going to want to note the tempo. Mine is wrong in this one. It says it's 120 because this was um, arranged by, um, who is it? Um, this is a self-made uh, MIDI file that I found on the internet, but this is not correct. Mine is actually in 70 because as you can see, um, these are all 16th notes. So that in a 120 tempo would be really, really fast. So you just click finish now. Ah. And now you're going to have your bars and you're going to be access to everything and everything's going to be fine. So what you want to do is you want to copy down um, basically every single note into Finale. Now you can't copy it obviously, that's not how it works. I can't drag it to that. 
So you're going to have to click on each note. So as you can see, these are 16 notes. So I'm going to find 16 notes and start placing them where they're supposed to go. Now, I already did a pre-recorded one, but I'm just going to show you one thing real quick. These are um, uh, flats, and, uh, flats and naturals. And to do that, you're going to click on the note you need. So I need a 16th note. And I need to click on flat or natural. So flat, you click on the note you want, and you have flat. And then the switch, you click on natural, and then you switch again. And that's pretty much all you do. So I'm just going to load what I did for you. So open. I want to click right here. And then, so this is what this is the first uh, one, two, three, four bars. So as you can see, I would be right at the beginning again, and then. You want to make sure everything's right every so often. So you click play. Um, this may not be the actual speed, but um, it's closer than the other one. And then it repeats, and then you just keep going until you get it all. So as you can see, this took me about. Uh, probably about 10 minutes so you can imagine to do six pages of made it right is going to be hell basically now you know why these take so long there are some that PDF files that have the mini inside them that you can open with this but a lot of them don't so to get a uh, synthesia thing you're gonna have to make your own or MIDI file name. so you're gonna click so to do it you're gonna click file you're going to go to save as and now you're going to open your MIDI file so mine's on my desktop and you see I already have a three tiers in there but you're going to want to click this and click MIDI file and then I already have one but I'm going to override it yeah so to replace and then it's going to go all of this don't worry about it just click OK and then that's done so I'm going to minimize that you're going to open Synthesia You're going to go to play, and now th originally this will not be there. You're going to go to add. Whoa, my bad. You want to go to add, and then add folder. Go to desktop or wherever you saved your file, and click MIDI, and it says one song found in MIDI, and you're gonna click on add, and then you're done with that. I don't. You search for folder only or include this sub. You can see folder only. You can do whatever you want. Folder only is good though. So then here's my song. Rate it five star, difficulty not hard at all. And then you're going to click enter. And you can play the notes yourself, which is hard, or you can watch and listen and follow along. So I'm gonna watch and listen. You have all this stuff on the side you don't need to worry about, and then And then that's the song. But obviously it's going to be a long hour. So exit, 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 all that. And then you would film it, obviously, when you're done. Or you would do whatever. So that's basically the outline of how to make um, your MIDI files. If you have any questions, just um, put them in the description below. Um, send me a personal message. Subscribe. Um, I'm going to be coming up with a lot more videos. So be patient. And um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you like this video, and sorry that everything took too long, but I promise you I'm going to be coming out with stuff, so please, personal messages, requests, I will do them as soon as I can. Um, uh, so thank you, and peace out.